after winning the national championship with the Florida Gators, I officially declared for the NFL draft. I am ready to become the first Chinese QB drafted into the NFL with hopes of inspiring more Asian kids around the world to do the same. Following the big year was Chinese New Year, the biggest holiday for my family. At the dinner table, we had dumplings. We had the duck, the steamed fish, the rice, the mooncake. It was a great time at the dinner table, but that was when I told everyone in my family that I would be headed to the draft. And I was met with some mixed responses. A lot of my family don't even know what a football is. So when I explained how the game worked and how I could make millions from it, they thought it was a phone scam. Other members like my father understood my decision as he even offered to train me for the process. Despite the fact that he's missing an entire lower half of a leg. But anyways, even after winning three Heismans in a row and a national championship, GMs across the league still had doubts about my game. I faced an uphill battle because of my size. There weren't a lot of six foot quarterbacks who ran the way I ran and played QB the way I did. Mel Kuyper's draft report came out and reported that I lacked accuracy and anticipation. Said I had a big head and small eyes. Never knew that was an issue in the NFL, but there were plenty of scouts and GMs across the league who definitely had a much different perspective of my game compared to college football fans. So I knew I needed to work my ass off in the offseason. I trained tirelessly for the workouts that I knew I was going to get from teams, but I also had big decisions that I needed to make off the field. First order of business was to get myself an agent. We needed someone who could find endorsement deals and reach out to teams for more opportunities. So I ended up hiring an up and coming agent right here, my girl Janelle. I met her while I was at Florida finishing my semester and I would do all her math homework because I'm a sim. But one thing Janelle was really good at was bargaining. Her mouth could do wonders. She could talk herself out of any situation at school and I had a lot of faith in her. So while I was training relentlessly on the field improving my game, Janelle was on the move off the field and ended up bringing me the opportunity of a lifetime. I was approached by Nike to become one of the faces of Nike football. I could not believe it. I was gonna be the face of Nike in China and be next to guys like LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Not only did the Nike endorsement come with a signature shoe, but I also got invited to a Nike showcase event where I got a chance to work out with some of the NFL's best players. This was a huge opportunity for me to show scouts my improvements that I've made over the offseason as I was thrown to Nike athletes like OBJ, Travis Kelsey, Michael Thomas, which I just could not believe. Repping with NFL receivers instantly made me realize that the NFL game was much different as these guys are moving at a completely different pace than what it was like in college. They cut different, they anticipate different, they have different views of football. So before the combine came around, I knew I needed to improve even more. And the first major change that I needed to make was my diet. And speaking of diets, today's sponsor is HelloFresh. It's the beginning of the new year, and everyone is trying to save money and eat well at the same time. And if you're trying to stop ordering expensive takeout and delivery, HelloFresh is just for you. One of the things that I love about HelloFresh is just the fact that it is extremely affordable and that I can get groceries delivered right to my door. As a YouTuber and a student, I don't really have much time to grocery shop. And the fact that I know that I'm getting healthy and fresh food delivered to me is extremely convenient. All right, so we got the Greek inspired chicken and couscous salad, caramelized barbecue chicken, and the pan fried salmon and bok choy. Oh no, this is the one. This is my bread and butter right here. This is my favorite recipe from HelloFresh. What's also convenient is the fact that HelloFresh is very flexible with your meal preferences. You can customize your recipes, change your meal preferences, and adjust your plan size, all with just a few clicks on the app or the website. The meal prep is extremely simple, as all you have to do is follow the recipe step by step, which results in tasty meals like this. Mmm, that's delicious. If you want to give HelloFresh a try, go to HelloFresh.com and use code HEFE21 for 21 free meals and free shipping. That's HEFE21 for 21 free meals and free shipping. Shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back into the video. So now we head into the scouting combine and I decide to skip all the workouts. The reason was because I really thought that all of my film from college did the talking and it's totally not because EA doesn't have the scouting combine built into the game. What I did do down in Indianapolis was interview for a bunch of teams. I wanted to leave a lasting impression on teams and show them that I'm the right choice for their vacant QB position. Specifically, seven teams showed me interest. The Tennessee Titans, the Miami Dolphins, the New England Patriots, the Detroit Lions, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Seattle Seahawks, and the New York Jets. As I am breaking new grounds as the first Chinese QB to enter the draft, I felt like I was being asked a different set of questions for my interview. The Lions and Steelers really went in depth with questions regarding my background, asking me about Chinese culture, the history, and whether I could handle the pressure of being a trailblazer for China. 
Chinese players in the NFL. I also got questions about specific defensive coverages and protection assignment from the Titans and the Dolphins. The Seahawks asked me really weird questions that had no specific answer. Questions like, would you rather be a tiger or a bull? Or what would I do if I wasn't playing football? Like, isn't that kind of obvious? It's a doctor or lawyer. And then there were shameless teams like the Texans, which just straight up asked me to do their bookkeeping for their taxes. That was not an interview, okay? That was straight up a math exam. But the one team that showed me the most interest was the New York Jets, as they are looking for their first QB since Mark Sanchez. They wanted me to work out for them privately and talked about drafting me with the second pick in the draft. But here's the thing. I don't want to play for the Jets. This is a QB graveyard, all right? This place is cursed for quarterbacks. And even though heading to New York is tempting, I had zero desire to play for the Jets. My mom also did not want to go to New York. She said, it's too cold, son. It's too cold. You know I can't be disobedient to my mom, so I had to do what I had to do. I completely bombed the workout, all right? I made mistakes left and right. Took as many sacks as I could. I had only one completion all workout. I haven't played like this since my freshman year at Stanford, all right? I tried my hardest to not end up on the New York Jets. But after the workout, I was brought in for one last private interview with the Jets. These guys just don't get the message that I'm trying to send. They pretty much kept gobbling my wee-wee, all right? They're saying things like, you're the most well-rounded player in the draft. We love the fact that you can play under pressure and you can bring a completely new market to the Jets and increase Chinese tourism in New Jersey. So I have to be straightforward, all right? I said, look, I'm not playing for this bum franchise. This place stinks, all right? I'm not playing on this weak-ass MetLife turf. I'm not gonna let y'all ruin my career. My disinterest in the Jets was leaked to the public two days prior to the draft as I was being bombarded by questions from the media and getting toasted on social media. This was Eli Manning getting drafted by the Chargers all over again and it only added additional stress towards drafting. But the day was finally here. A day that I have been waiting and working my whole life towards. I am projected to be a first round QB so we shall see what happens here. But before we hit the draft, let me hit my dance. But here we go. The Jaguars are on the clock. They are making the first pick. And they select Trevor Lawrence. I kind of saw that one coming, so I wasn't too disappointed. It would have been nice to go number one, but it is what it is. It also would have been nice to stay in Florida, but you know what? We can only control what we can control, all right? But second pick of the draft belongs to the New York Jets. They are on the clock. This is peak live television drama, ladies and gentlemen. What will happen here? Well, the Jets take me as their franchise QB, regardless of my unwillingness to play. Or will they go a different direction? The clock has started started ticking down and 10 minutes felt like 10 years in that green room my heart was pounding ass crack was sweaty i didn't know what would happen but all of a sudden my phone rings no i pick up the phone and i couldn't believe what i was hearing i am officially the second overall pick of the nfl draft i'm showing excitement as i am happy about all the hard work i have put in for this moment but don't let that fool you ladies and gentlemen deep down inside i know my career is ruined i know i'm finished coach robert sala starts congratulating me but then he hands the phone to gm joe douglas and all of a sudden Things change. Big boy Joe tells me they are currently working on a trade with another team. He doesn't know the details yet, but teams are interested in moving their picks for me. So as I am walking up to the draft stage, there is a bidding war going on as the team that offers the biggest haul will acquire the Chinese QB via trade. But I walk the stage and I get my Jets jersey, kind of mixed with emotions because I'm excited that I got drafted, but I truly have no idea where I am actually going to be headed to. After taking a picture with the commissioner i have finally done it i have become the first chinese qb to make it into the nfl from clarksville stanford florida heisman national championship now i am also a lottery pick i am paving the way for other chinese players in the future and showing kids around the world that anything is possible <laughs> but all of a sudden a trade has been finalized the new york jets have officially traded the chinese qb too the Miami Dolphins! The Finns gave up their seventh overall pick and the next two years of first round picks for the Chinese man. I am staying in Florida, ladies and gentlemen. I am staying in Florida. The Finns have had QB troubles as Tua has brain damage and Teddy Bridgewater has consistently been hurt as well. So they bring me in to try to fill that void and I get to throw the football to Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle and work with an offensive head coach and Mike McDaniel. What a beautiful scenario for me as I get that stay 
day in Florida. And my journey has just begun. In the next video, a Chinese QB will start his NFL journey with the Dolphins. Will I secure a starting job in preseason and take this team to the promised land? Can I win rookie of the year? And can I make the playoffs in my first year as a quarterback in the NFL? We will find out in the next video. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.